Hi everybody! Today I'm going to show you how to solve for the velocity of a ball dropping. Now typically when a ball falls it converts potential energy into kinetic energy. But what am I going to be dropping? This sick beat. Here we go. My name is Carrie and I'm here to say I'm doing this project for Mr. Day. Let's stop and take a minute to pull out your reference sheet. I want your understanding to be completely concrete. Pull out some paper, get some pencils ready. This wraps a whole lot better than your mom's spaghetti. Multiply the mass, multiply the height, multiply the gravity, that's potential energy. Energy in the system remains the same. You can't play around. This ain't no video game. Energy itself can't be destroyed or created. Please don't let these big words get you frustrated. Now that we got that squared away, it's time to solve it the real way. We got a ball at rest, it ain't not moving. Don't let the variables make it all confusing. Its height is 10 meters, gravity is 10. The ball is 50 kg, just pretend. As I drop it, we wanna know it. What is its speed at the very lowest? Wait a moment, something's funny. What are the units? I'm such a dummy. Mass times acceleration, that's a newton. Okay, that's cool. It's a newton times a meter. That's a joule. Potential energy is 5,000 joules. I learned all of this from being taught in schools. Do not be afraid to express your curiosity. UG equals K, that's how we solve velocity. Isaac Newton, Galileo, science, ball drop. <laughs>